Hey everyone, so I have another CD review today and this is the Friends soundtrack. Now this has taken me absolutely ages to get hold of and there is no excuse um, for taking me this long. This cost me 99 pence in Nats Entertainment, which you guys know I love. Um, this is a replay but you know there's nothing wrong with it apart from the fact that the case is broke. But I think that was me, I think I dropped it. Um, yeah, so first of all the cover, I only noticed this last night when I was sitting listening to it all through. Jennifer, well Rachel, I'll use her character name since they're actually in character. Rachel there is actually allegedly naked under a blanket and the rest of the friends are sitting around her. Now I've seen this picture so many times and I've never noticed that. Um, so I'm just going to take this off there so you can see it properly. Are we going to come off without causing havoc? No, I didn't think so. It'll do. Um, so I mean it is a really nice picture. You've got the logo there. On the back you have all the tracks. Now it looks really jumbled and confusing and believe me it is, but all the, the titles of the tracks are in colour, which is nice, and you have a gorgeous picture there. The CD itself is not too bad, nice and shiny, there's my pile of DVDs, <laughs> and the Friends logo there. Now I'll take you through the booklet, because I thought the booklet was quite interesting before I take you through the tracks themselves. Totally just dismantling it. So it opens up like this to get the... Now you have all the songs there, the artists, the producers of the songs, things like that. A lot of information there. I wish I told you which episodes the songs were in though because I, it doesn't and it's kind of annoying because I can't always remember some of them but more about that later. Then you have little pictures there in a cup. Then on the back you have more pictures. So it's very beautiful for the Friends fan. So that's great. Now obviously if you're just wanting to buy it to listen to the music and you don't really care about Friends, you're buying the wrong CD. But um, yeah, there's not really much information about the songs themselves or anything. Right, so the first song on the CD, there are 13 tracks. The first one is The, Remem the Remembrance, I'll Be There For You, which is the TV version. That's the cut down version they use for the title sequence. Then at the end of that, there's a 30 second clip from one of the episodes. Um, it's the episode with, I can't remember the name of it because I can't picture the scene, but where it's, it's Chandler anyway, it's a Chandler funny moment. Then after that we have Hootie and the Blowfish, I Go Blind. Um, I hadn't heard of that one before, I'd never heard of it. I can't recall listening to it, although I'm imagining it was during the Hootie and the Blowfish concert. That would make sense. Um, I Go Blind, but I do like it, I really like it. I hadn't heard it, but I do like it, so that was nice, I've discovered a new song. The same goes for number three, Toad, Toad, the, wet, pr Toad the Wet Sprocket with Good Intentions. I, again, I can't really recall ever hearing that one in the programme, but it's a new song that I really quite enjoy. Number four is Lou Reed, You'll Know we, you, you'll know You Were Loved, which I think a lot of people do know that, but I don't. Um, I feel kind of dense, but um, I'm not a massive fan of that one. The same for Sexuality by Key Day Lang, um, number five. Not one I can recall hearing, not one I'm particularly fond of, so that for me is just a waste of space on this CD. Um, number six, however, I really do like, which is Shoebox um, by Bare Naked Ladies. One I actually really love. That's probably one of my favourite songs on the track, I th on the CD. I thought it was really good. But again, I can't really remember ever hearing it in the, in the show. So either I don't pay enough attention to the music, or they've changed the songs, which is possible. They can do this. Once the series has gone to DVD, they've changed the songs or video or whatever. They changed the songs because obviously I don't really remember ever watching them airing for the first time. Um, so unless they've changed the songs when it went to DVD. Uh, number seven is is it's a free world baby by REM or REM. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Again, hadn't heard of it. Not one I'm a massive fan of. The same goes for Paul Westenberg's Sunshine, which is number eight. Can't remember hearing it. Um, not a fan of it. I kind of recognise the song, but I don't think I recognise it from Friends. I don't really know. My memory isn't good. But number nine by The Pretenders, Angel of the Morning, is one of my favourite songs. And I do know this one from Friends. I definitely do, and I really love it. And it's one of my favourite songs in Friends. So I'm so happy that I finally have that on a CD so I can put it on my iPhone and listen to it more. Because I love it. Um, number ten, In My Room by Grantley B Buffalo. Can't remember it, don't care for it. Um, no no offence to the artist or anything, it's just not my cup of tea. Then we have Big Yellow Taxi by Johnny Mitchell, number 11. I don't like that song. Not only do I not care for it, but there's something about it that I just, I just can't listen to it. It's just not my cup of tea, I don't like it. It's just not for me. Um, number 12, again, um, is one I hadn't heard by Paul Westenberg. 
um, Westerberg, sorry, um, called Stay in Your Blood, and it is actually Y E R Blood, Yer. Um, again, I can't really recall ever hearing it from the episodes, but I do like the song, it's a new song love of mine, so that's brilliant. Um, then number 13, number 13 is actually three clips in one. It's the re the remembrance. Um, I'll be there for you, the extended version, the full bit, the one with the little um, the bridge. You know, no one could ever love you. No one could. Do, 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 do. I really love that bit. Um, so that's the full version. So that's brilliant. You also have the outro, which is the um, the bit played on the closing credits at the end, where there's no lyrics. It's just the tune. So that's nice. And then at the end, you have a Joey clip. So you have two friends clips on the entire CD, which I hadn't known. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven songs, because I wrote them down. Seven songs on this that I liked out of 13. That's kind of half. You got really half 13. Um, so that's really nice. It's it's not too bad. For 99 pounds, I can't complain. Plus, if I never ever owned this in my CD collection, I'd be a really crap Friends fan, which I'm not. I love Friends, you know, I'm head over heels in love with it. The only thing is... And I know that every Friends fan ever who's got this CD has mentioned this. There are no Phoebe songs. Phoebe has a massive catalogue of songs from series 1 to 10. This was released, I don't know. The copyright information goes up to 1995. So I, I presume it was, it was while it was still airing anyway. So Phoebe wouldn't have finished. But I'm waiting for this Phoebe Buffet CD album with all her songs on. Now, one of those could exist, but it's not on Amazon. It's not on eBay can't find anything about it online so if you do know one that does exist please tell me because I will pay as good as money as I can for one which is not very much but um, yeah so the fact that there's no Phoebe songs you know there's not even Smelly Cat that's that's horrible the only thing I can do is try and download all her songs individually and put them on a CD um, or just put them on my iPhone whatever um, so I will do that at some point but I'd like to have an official friends Phoebe Buffet Thing with you know smelly cat I'm in the shower um other ones <laughs> my memory isn't good you guys know this um sometimes men love women sometimes men love men and then there are bisexuals and some just say they're kidding themselves na, 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 na. I can't think um yeah but there are loads of really great Phoebe songs so I'd love a friend's Phoebe album which I don't think they're going to do now because there's been kind of nearly 10 years since it since it stopped airing okay it's been seven but you know so fingers crossed that will happen but yeah this is a good enough album to get if you're a friends fan in fact if you're a friends fan just get it 99 pence who cares um i'd pay in fact you'd pay that just to download the remembrance um the remembrance full song from itunes so just go and buy it it really is great you also have the friends again album which is the second one which I will try and get as soon as. Um, it, again, it doesn't look that good, but we'll see. Um, but that's it for this video. So please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts. And I will see you all next time. Bye.